Sliding door hardware is a great space-saving alternative and can be applied to any door structure in a few easy steps. Remember, this video is meant to serve as a guide only. Please take extra consideration when planning your own custom installation. Here is a look at the hardware. First, we'll start by prepping the door. A floor bracket is provided to help the door stay on track and prevents it from making contact with the wall. This means you will need to route out the underside of the door so it can slide over the bracket. The bracket is 3 quarters of an inch high overall, so in order to have the door slide freely over the posts, a channel needs to be routed for the length of the door at 1 quarter inch wide by 1 half to 3 quarters of an inch deep, depending on your suspension height off the floor. Now we will fasten the brackets. The spacing for your brackets is dependent largely on the width of your door, so measure accordingly and space evenly. The holes on either side are to be drilled at 1 and 31 30 seconds inches apart on center. Insert the pin with a washer through either of the openings and attach a washer to the top side and then tighten down the nut. Use the spanner wrench provided to tighten the surface plate and then repeat these steps. After fastening both pins, position your bracket over the threaded nuts and secure in place with the screws provided into the top side of each nut with the hex key provided. After the entire assembly is tightened, screw the cap covers into place and tighten down with the spanner wrench once again to conceal the hardware. Repeat these steps for both brackets and your door hardware will be nearly complete. Note that the hardware included can be applied with left or right orientation to slide in either direction. Determine which direction the door will open and then apply the door handles accordingly on either the left or right side of the door. Drill holes for your handles at 11 and 13 16 inches apart on center. Apply the pen with a washer through either one of the openings, then insert a washer over the bolt on the other side and secure the handle in place. With the mounting post of the handle in place over the threaded bolt, tighten the nut from below and repeat these steps for both the top and bottom posts. Now we will apply the back-to-back -back mounting hardware on the other side. Insert the door handle over the nuts and use a hex key to tighten the set screws in place on both posts as shown. Now on to the wall hardware. The wall mounted hardware should extend out beyond the door frame in the direction that the door will be opening. There are four brackets included, plus nylon washers to serve as spacers, giving the door added depth off the wall. Mark your positions and drill pilot holes for mounting your four brackets. Note you'll want to mount into studs, wood backing, or concrete for a secure hold. Measure and mark each position so that each mounting post is spaced evenly from one another. Recommended spacing is no more than three feet apart. Be sure to use a level as a guide as you go to keep the track perfectly aligned. The brackets are comprised of two pieces. We will first mount the back side of the bracket along with the additional nylon washers as needed depending on your door thickness to project further out from the wall to allow the door to slide freely and unimpeded. Now with one half of your bracket set in place, fasten the outer portion of the mounting bracket and with your bar set in position, repeat these steps for all four brackets to hold the bar securely in place. Apply the door stop posts on either end to prevent the door from rolling off the track and then lift your door and hook over the top of the bar. You may need more than one person to lift the door in place depending on the size and weight of your door. The bar should set into the groove of the wheels so that the door slides smoothly back and forth. Next we will position the door stops on either end. The door stops can be fastened anywhere you like along the track but by using the door as a guide, you can fasten them to stop the door right at the edge of the door opening or further in or out as needed. Much of this installation is dependent on the size of your door and up to your discretion in terms of hardware placement for however your job sees fit. Insert the spring and stopper piece through the front of the post and screw into place as shown here through the back of the post. Once in position, tighten the post from above to secure it in place.
With your floor bracket in place, the door should stay on track while sliding and your door is ready for use.